Okay, we have our basic HTML template. We don't need these three letters here. We know what the head is, the body, and everything about it, about the initial boilerplate for HTML. And now we're gonna start building the actual postcard, right? If you remember from the instructions, we need to build something like this. And we need to pick first what tags are we going to be using for this remember that if you know microsoft word you know most of the html tags already in this particular exercise we are just it's blurred out the postcard on purpose because i i don't want to i don't want you to focus on the actual postcard right now because we're going to build this from outside of the postcard to, to the inners of the postcard. So the first thing that we're going to do is the black screen and the actual container for the entire white postcard. And for that, you use the div container. Div is short for division. It's an HTML tag that exists and is I think it's the most used HTML tag in the world. I mean, you do a div for almost everything you'll see. Uh, I want to try... try following the text editor help like for example if you start typing div like this and then you press enter and then you put and you try finishing the initial div tag the initial tag for the div the closing one will be automatically there so that's good and you want to then press enter so that you can have an indentation level between these two divs because now everything is going to be a child of div of this div at least, I mean, unless I put it here, right? If I put something here, this is not a child of div, it's a child of body, because body is the immediate parent. It's a sibling of div. And that's how HTML works. HTML works like a hierarchy. So when I'm adding tags, every time that you open a tag, you wanna have an indentation level, just to say that whatever comes next, for example, if I put a p tag here, you know that this p tag will be a child of the div. That's how you know it, because of the indentation levels if you don't do that then it can become a real mess pretty quickly like for example imagine something like this visually it's hard already to know that the p it's here you know so 90 percent of the errors believe me come when you are completely disorganized another thing you can do is that you can right click and say format document and then it's going to format it for you maybe sometimes the format is not as beautiful as i would like but it, it's better than having a mess, you know, and right now you can see that it, it added for me the indentation levels for the P tag for the div, so that's good. I'm not going to have a P right now, but uh, imagine that I, I wanted that P. So what I was saying is that you can press enter here in the body, it will automatically indent for you, and then you start typing the word div, and then you press enter, and it will put both for you. And that's how I normally do it. Then I press enter again. Okay, so I have a div already, and then it's telling me to make that div with the class postcard. We haven't talked about classes yet, but basically it's a way to identify this div because you may have a lot of divs in your website. Let's say that I have another div later, you know, like this. So how do I differ this div from this other one? I could use a class. I could also use an ID or I can use another trick that I can show you later. But basically the classes is the most used um, way of identifying elements in HTML because IDs are, n when you use IDs, you cannot reuse that type of selector in CSS. So it's not, it's not recommended. You want to re try reusing everything. I I'll show you better in, in, an, in an extra step because we are getting ahead right now. All that matters for you right now is that we're going to identify this div, the first one, this one, we're going to identify it as a postcard. Okay. And then we're going to write inside of it, hello. You can see how in the example, this is all together in one line like this. And that's okay. You can have it in one line. HTML ignores completely the jump of lines. So if I press enter here and I press enter here, it's going to be the same. Actually, I can press enter like this and it will still be the same because spaces are completely ignored. Remember, the only thing that adds format into HTML is the tags. If I just put um, a jump of line or something like that, it will not actually work. The only thing recognized is the space. 
and it only recognizes it once. If I put more spaces and then I put a word, I don't believe it's going to work. Let's try. Yeah, look, it's only one space. So it completely ignored my other spaces. Actually, it removed them. Look, now it's it's all different. It's automatically formatted. Okay, so I did my postcard div with hello, and then I'm going to test it. And it's all passing. We can go to the next step just to see. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that one in the next one.